Okay. I've learned a little about on Battle Brothers. It's the game I've been enjoying lately. And I was about to play a little more Serious Remnants, but... Well, I did. Hmm. So. I'd rather risk people's, you know, lives for a little bit of gold in the middle of a crap sack fantasy world. So here we go. We're going to do a little Battle Brothers. The rise and possible fall of Delcar's dead men. Let's go along for the ride and let's see what we've got. All right, tweak the interface slightly. So we're going to go cold. We're going to go in cold. We're not cold. I've played enough of it to get the gist of it. I haven't hit any of the late game crises. I haven't gotten anybody <laughs> over like level eight. Um, I don't have a preferred seed. I mean, I could have gone farming or digging on, you know. Voila. So, in the interest of people who haven't played it, and because, like I said, I haven't gotten to a late game, but I have gotten the fundamentals to the point where I'm enjoying the game. It's not frustrating it's pleasant to play i'm gonna keep it on you know noob noob and money bags tip use war dogs to hunt down elusive or fleeing enemies i had a war dog once lost at that same battle it was not pleasant the last battle it all went wrong Two days ago, the company was hired to track down Hogarth the Weasel and his band of raiders, but it was them who found you first. But they, it was they who found, I don't know. An ambush. Some joke about horses cut short by an arrow to the throat. Arrows shooting in from everywhere and nowhere. Men holler and scream, a great volume before death. As the hail subsides, you draw your weapon with the rest of the men, only to collapse to your knees. An arrow has punctured your side. You shout in pain. A harried glance sees the men charge without you to make a valiant last stand. Met in force as steel clashes with steel. Your eyes meet with the captain, a last nod before his throat is cut. You're left in command now of what few men remain. Trembling in pain, you lean on your sword and with all the will you can muster, slowly rise again. To the end! They're kind of nebulous on who you are or where you are during all this, because... There's a guy with a sword. There's Captain Bernard. And there goes Captain Bernard. All right. Take note of his appearance here. When we track him down again later, I want to know if he looks the same. Now, this is scripted. You cannot die, but you can get terrifying injuries. So I could go after the... Well, you know, that Gambeson actually would not be bad. If I've got daggers, killing them with daggers would not be a bad move. What the... Locked. Cannot be changed in combat. Oh, never noticed that before. Uh, yeah. Heck with it. I got the speed set to fast move, bad guy movement, fast uh, my guy movement, you know. Oops, wrong, wrong one. And turn, take my clubbing. When you said you wanted to go clubbing, I didn't know that was what you meant. I should have put my shield up. He'd have been out if it wasn't for that. Uh, if it wasn't for the fact that we're in the... Uh... Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is impossible to lose this one. I'd, it had been over already if I wasn't playing around with daggers. Dagger, singular. Any of these guys have daggers? Yeah, leave me alone. <sighs> yep, 
you know what, it occurs to me. I'm going to go down there. It occurs to me that you, yeah, I don't actually give a damn about your gear. Yeah. It's a gambeson I kind of want. And kind of. It's better armor than what most of my guys are toting. In fact, it is what he's wearing. And I was a, my archer took a beating for no good reason. Okay, I do have auto loot on. It's not necessary to click the loot button if you remember to turn auto loot on first. Oh, yeah, that was it bitching that, you know, the weasel got away. All right. Oh, okay. Light wounds, dissatisfied. Yeah, I know. Eh, not a great start. Brute plus 15 damage to a hit on the head. Okay. I like that. Two stars and hit points. Okay. I'm leaning towards tanking him out. 44 in resolve and a star in it. And a star in fatigue. Yeah. Espen. One guy I can count on to comment and watch my videos. Hats to you, Chad. Oh, stars there. Stars in defense. Yeah, actually, I didn't check that. Uh, yeah, control. Burp. Yeah, good melee defense. Obviously, higher would be better. He's got it starred. So he potentially will have a very good melee defense. Going forward, he's got stars there. So, um... That's what he's doing now, but it's what he's going to continue to do. And you, are you a proper good archer? Range defense, two stars in range skill, and it's at a decent level. Melee defense is a decent level. He has a decent amount of hit points when I don't let him get his ass kicked. Um, and he's a decent all-arounder. The Impaler. Uh, you and your porn names, okay. Alright, cool. Decent traits, too. Brave, like it. Brute. You know, flail would actually be nice with this guy. And no traits, okay. As companions go. Now, here's the other thing. The last map I tried on, I kept getting murdered going into this damn forest. That uh, was you know, the closest town. I have a feeling it's going to happen again. Let's speed things along, shall we? I've got my OBS screen over there. And uh, now that I look at it, I. Uh, where do you want the logo, guys? Might need to use the dark logo if I do that. Too much? Hey! Hey! Yeah, we'll put it down here. It's just a vanity. I don't know why I do it. Alright. What a sorry display it must be for onlookers as you arrive in Eichenberg. Four bloodied and four. Four bloodied and beaten mercenaries down on their luck. The man who hired the company days ago, Kaspar the Burgomeister. Burgomeister Meister Burger? No doubt have expected you return in a more glorious fashion. Still, he welcomes you to his house and offers bread and wine while his servant fetches a healer. Few words are exchanged except for the occasional grunt and wheeze as an elderly man with shaky hands tends your wounds. A pin pierces your skin, the first of many stitches to come. You grit your teeth till you think you hear one break. 
Casper the Burgermeister sits beside you and asks who took care of Hogarth. You shake your head. We killed his men, but the weasel eluded our blades in the end. The healer waves around a glowing fire poke, suggesting he wants to push it into your wound. You nod, and he does so. For a moment, that's all there is. You're not a man, but a pinch of fire, flesh from flame, a golem of pain. Casper the Burgomeister hands you a goblet of wine. You did well, Selsword. The brigands have been removed, though it is a shame that Hogarth still lives. We expect to get paid for this. Casper the Burgomeister gasps. Well, naturally, 400 crowns is agreed on. He gestures towards a servant who rushes to your side with the pay in hand. I wonder, may I make use of your services one more time? I'd very much like to end the headache that is Hogarth once and for all. And I would pay you again, of course. Another 400 crowns, shall we say? Randolph Two-Hander scoffs and turns to drink more wine, but the Chad Tank <laughs> stands to speak. Yes, the company is in ruin, but we will rebuild it. W without the Delcar's dead men, hmm. Randolph Two-Hander would drink the crowns away and end up begging on the streets, and Hartwig the Impaler by the gods, we all know he'd be chasing the women folk until one stove his rotted head in. We need Delcar's dead men, it's all we have. What say you, Captain? Randolph burps and raises his cup to you. Hartwig playfully thumbs his nose and nods. Kill that bastard Hogarth or not, it's up to you, Captain. Fuck yeah, I'm gonna kill him. Uh, my little birds, blah blah, yeah, 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 okay. Alright, so I need to get three recruits and buy some gear. Oh, an armorer. Oh... Does that mean there's cheap? No, there's not good cheap armor here. Oh, but. Alright, yes, I do a little trading on the side. Uh, I play this a lot like I play my uh, Mountain Blade, and oh, I hope Mountain Blade 2, 1 comes out soon, and 2 is as good as I hope it is. Um, tools for 190. Wow. I never see that. Yeah, all right. I'm always going to use them. All right. Uh, I want to go crazy here. All right. Oh, 85 and 4. You're hired. Um, let's see what else we have. Hello. Oh. I expected crippling flaws. You're uh, fairly decent. Relatively speaking. Right. Short term. We will level you as a proper tank when uh, you know we have the gear to justify it. Ah, yes. Forests to cut through and things to cut me. Yeah, seriously, I kept getting jumped by dire wolf and crap. Just trying to get home. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You say it every time we stop in the town. You say it even when you're already drunk. Yeah. Okay. Sweet, they've got a one-star contract waiting for me when I'm done here. All right, 206, hired. 170 and 6, hired. 35 and 4, hired. All right. Men. Oh, bought for 209. Ding, ding, ding. Thank you. Hey, so look, we've already got a weapon for one of you poor clowns. Worth 180, buy for 206. I will take that chance. All right, damaged goods that I can repair on the way with the tools that you have. That's the reason I'm always stocking up on tools. Uh... 
you don't have to leave. You can go right into the inventory from the other screen. But all right, so you, what's your deal, Silkworm? You're a tailor, of course, natural for a mercenary. You are a cripple that could turn out to be a good archer given the chance. A pessimist and superstitious. Never mind. You are the Thank you for your glorious sacri uh, service. Double grip, in good spirit, yes. Iron jaw. He's a flagellant. Oh, good. That means he's going to do crazy crap later. Well, you can go flog the monkey on your own time. I had some crazy events with the flagellants before. All right, that should satisfy the conditions. So we'll get it back to Eichenberg, Jesse Eichenberg. And uh, we'll find out where Hogarth's hiding. And then we will go beat the living hell out of him. Hopefully find another dagger or two here. Yeah, yeah. Now, the clock is always ticking, unless you hit a pause or what have you. I could have encamped to... I think once you're in that screen, the clock stops ticking. Damn. Carrying stuff, you know, in your inventory like that costs fatigue for your guys. I'm gonna buy a stock up a little food after this too. A few brigand thugs and a brigand poacher. All right, let's do it. Now I didn't set it to Iron Man because again. Things get buggy often enough. I never trust that. Okay, we will hit space. We'll give them a two. Really? They think they're better shots than me. Crap. All right. They think they have more. Really? Alright, where did the one bastard that actually has gear I'm interested in run off to? And who's probably Hogar? Oh, it is Hogar. There's Hogar. And it is the same head. Okay. Maybe I was imagining it the one time. thing about dude being conked is I can move without the penalty that you normally get. Nice thing about the guy being dead. Alright, naturally I've got somebody with brute and he isn't the guy carrying the flail. Conk. Mm. Alright, bash then. Speaking of, 
get rid of that shield. Uh, let me see. So let's see if you can. Yes, thank you. That. I mean, I knew he wasn't going to last, but still. There we go. You don't actually have a dagger, do you? Do I? No, I do not. Oh, good. He's reposting. Uh huh. Nice try, pal. All right, repost that now. Still got your dagger? No, I gave it away. You got a dagger? You do. Well, get in here. You do not. Yeah. Well. Or you lost one of my companions. the brakes. And I did because I took, I let him get the crap beat out of him in that first mission for no real gain. Happy thoughts. Happy thoughts, Delcar. Happy thoughts. I think his arm. No, his armor is fully intact. Yeah! The Seeker, the Impaler. Oh my gosh! Dagmar! Permanent missing ear, pierced long. A second opening for air proves of little use, except for sounding like a bagpipe. Bummer about Hartwig, though. All right. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. ka -ching. All right. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, man, I'm kind of bummed. I lost one of the companions. Glad I didn't name him. Nice thing about tea, herbal or otherwise. Cold teas, that is. Doesn't go flat. If the ice melts, so what? I'll drink to that. Hmm. All the recording paraphernalia and everything is kind of cluttered over here. All right. Blah, 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 blah. Yes. Got it. As brothers. All right. So we're back down to five guys. But. And my expendable bag. <laughs> Expendable guy didn't take a single point of damage. My. Uh oh. Uh, well, yep. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Nah, fatigue is crap. Hit points is low. The resolve is low. Yeah.
<laughs> hey, see why I had you in the back with that thing? Yeah. Ooh. All right, level up. All right. These can go as high as five or six, maybe, if you have three stars. I'd have to relook at it. Um, so, obviously, if he's actually going to be a tank, I need his melee defense up. Everybody needs fatigue that wants to wear good armor. Because your total is adjusted by... Well, it says it right there. It is reduced by wearing heavy equipment, especially armor. But melee skill, you know, a three is not bad. Resolve, yes. He, I cannot have him break. Hit points, yes. A three here or a three here. Um, well, he doesn't need to actually be doing damage once he's in full play tanking. Right now, I need, I need a little accuracy. And a three there or a three there is... Again... Alright, so, from left to right, fast adaption, I'll probably throw on the expendable guys so they can do, get a decent chance to hit, or a better chance to hit, while they last, but it's not something deep in the tree I'm interested in. Crippling strikes, likewise, I might throw on it if a guy gets a couple of levels, uh, you know, Colossus, he'll get, and then maybe one of these. Uh, nine lives. I may put that on, you know, my quasi-expendables. Bags and belts. That's nice. You get, like, four slots for for stuff. And it's uh, quick. Uh, uh, you add that with quick hands, and it's like... I got one. Got it. Hang on. Pathfinder. Only for my assassins. You know, my slip away from the group and go after. And probably my sergeant, the guy that's going to rally from the back. Adrenaline, you know, go first in the round. Well, recover. Now, this one is a nice one for everybody. Student. Better experience game. But is it worth a perk? You know, it, it sounds attractive. And you get the perk basically refunded at 11th level. I think I'd rather have the other perk now. You know, I'm gonna level. Leveling's gonna happen either way. How fast it goes is... Uh. So, for Chad, the tank, Colossus is always gonna be a good thing for a tank. So, I'm just gonna grab it now. The next level, I'm thinking maybe Steel Brow. You know, Gifted is another, you know, burner for my burner guys. It's a level. You trade the perk for another level immediately. Yeah. Bullseye uh, Dodge. Fortified Mind. How is his resolve? Yeah. Hold out. Interesting. Of this row, you know, I might either just backtrack and get recover or get steel brow specifically for him because I'm building him as a tank he's the only one that leveled right now so Boop. all right so yeah that's where's my money all right now do you love me yet no not enough for that all right so worth 245 sell for less than it's worth no thank you bite me <laughs> what are you laughing at kid Okay, so, dog food could end up a decent archer. Could. In the short term, I need archers. Silkworm. <laughs> a tailor, yeah. Oh no, he didn't have the spear, he had the club. So you are going to get the falchion. hell at this point well at this point silkworm you're actually getting the good armor too <laughs> 
embarrassing as that is. Ooh, a 38. Hang on. A 39. Yeah, we already know a 40. 36, 39. Yeah. Don't worry, your tanking days will come. Alright, again, I hate that forest crap. There's a nice big looking town here. Mind you, they're also in a forest, so they may not buy the lumber for any more, but I'm going to try. And, uh... Can you see that? Yeah. Represent you. All my friends who watch these that are, work there are aggravated right now. Alright, so bought for... Uh, I knew I was pushing my luck buying them for that expensive. I will sell that. The crap flail. I still got the guy that gets a bonus to hit the head. I'll buy that crappy, buy that crappy thing. Oh, food. Eh, not bad. I must pick some up off of Dum Dum Hogarth when I killed him. Uh, short sword, you know, at this point, I'll sell it. Walram, the caravan hand, Alfred the Mad. A level three disowned, can't afford him. Wearing decent armor, too. The Messenger, 170 and 7. The Learner. Ernst. Optimist. Huh? Melee defense has potential. Fatigue has potential. Resolve is three stars. Ernst, buddy. You can get back here where it's safer. Get back here where it's safer. We need a couple more uh, meat bags here, because, uh, uh, yeah. I keep an eye on him. I, I'll lose him if I'm not paying attention. Like, who died? Oh, who the hell was Ernst? Oh. And then later I'll be like, hey, wait a minute. I had somebody I was keeping an eye on. Now, who has the brute for the headshots? Uh, Alright, so, you know what? Can't get any contracts there because you know nobles. But there's a one star, a one skull. I think it was in Waldhain. Okay, hang on. I heard that. Maybe a mistake. Maybe I won't be able to find it. Where the heck's the tracks? There it is. Probably no good reason to do this, other than experience points, but. Hey, experience points. Come here. Come here, you. Get over here. Yeah, I'm chasing what amounts to a ghoul through a forest in the middle of the night. And I'm being chased by another one. Okay. Why is the one running like hell? Oh, God, it's a big one. Answered my own question. Mm. 
XCOM levels of bad accuracy. Oh, damn it. I wanted to get the spear wall up. Take a useless shot. Thank you. Remember when I said this is probably a mistake? I did say that, right? I'm sure thinking it. Silkworm. <laughs> oh, well, his armor survived. Yay, all that for a tooth that I can sell for an average of 16 gold crowns. And a little bit of experience points. It's always about to eat. Oh. Uh, yeah. Um, basically, my choice is crank up to 12. Larger war bands make your fights harder. Or suck up to a particular town. Which is useful, period. Nope, don't care. Don't care. Yeah, you go fight that company of guys over there. I already came here and checked this, didn't I? Huh. What? What? What guys that left with me earlier? I have no idea what you're talking about. No, no. We traveled down the road a little ways together, but they didn't, you know, join us? What? No, no. I have no idea what you're talking about. Well, yes, that's a nice hat after all. Ah. Yeah. Oh, hey. Randolph leveled up. Okay. Two stars and I only get a plus three. Did I have a plus three on the other guy without any stars? cover I find I don't know I may end up getting both for him anyway hey yeah oh yeah we're gonna get you you filthy bandits brigands guys yeah yeah told you best not mess with us you guys got my back right you guys got my back right yes <laughs> yeah told you not to mess with us <laughs> Man, shoot one of these guys. Jerk. Good shooting, Tex. What? What the hell are you doing? Okay, we're gonna wait. 
wait, we're gonna wait. We're supposed to kill steal that. Oops. So we used to archers having two as the aim shot. Oh well. And the nice thing, so far, every time I've been in one of these combined fights, I get loot even if I don't actually get to the fight, because sometimes Sometimes I'm like, where the heck are they fighting at? And I'm running around trying to get there in time, and they're just chopping these brigands down. Not that I've led people into... Ah, I'm a terrible person. Ha <laughs> ha. I've yet to see if I get any of the, like, the militia guys' gears if they start dropping. Mm. Speaking of dropping, guys are dying off quick. All these well-armed, well-armored MF, and my friggin' new guys taking it on the chin. Yeah, you know what? You guys got this. I do like find it very satisfying to shoot this guy down. Oh, the flat. Oh, the bases. Interestingly enough, are ours have the shield and they're a stone base. The bandits have this cracked dark wood, and I've also seen a lighter wood for a mercenary company. Hmm. Excuse me, it's late. It's early. Early in the a.m. That is. I do this after work most of the time. That way, there's no fussing when the wife gets up, and I'm not in the. I'm not in the way. All right, so what did we learn today, Einar? <laughs> we learned it. it sucks being on the front line. Okay, I didn't get any gear, but I got a little food. I got some gold. I got, you know, totally worth jumping into those fights. Especially if you end up split off and, like, you're not actually, you know, you're just sitting there scavenging. It's not very glamorous, not very nice, but... I have been recording for a while here. Take a quick look. Yeah, we've uh, chewed through a lot of people, mostly my own, and uh, off to a maybe not as good a start as I had the last time. 13 a day? Get the hell out of here. Grave robber. Charming. Uh, you know, might not be as good of a start. Started that was a starting say. Might not be as good of a start as I had the last time, but I've also had worse. Okay, I'm tired of shuffling you guys. There. Double grip. So if I give him, you know, if I use him, okay, thirty-one to fifty, twenty-five to forty.
impatient, cocky. Always acts first, first round, plus five result. You know, are your stats any good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you all. Don't know how long I'll run Battle Brothers. I'll probably try to get this group to the uh, to the war, to the end game event. See what the response is. See how everybody likes it. I'm really glad I grabbed this game. I grabbed it half off. Sorry, the sale's over by now. But uh, even at full price, I'd have been very happy with the. It's uh, uh, Steam's got it twenty nine ninety nine. I didn't check Green Man Gaming. Those are the only two I use regularly for digital games. Poke around, definitely worth trying out. I've had great fun with it. So, thank you. And if you all want to a place in the line like the Chad, let me know. Talk to you soon.